Hey, 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 welcome back, and I wanted to show you guys one of my, uh, one of my interests, and, uh, you guys have seen, if you've gone through my channel, I have some pinball, and this kind of brings together to me, uh, I'm not sure why I like pinball, but, but, uh, I used to live in a place where there was a lot of pinball tables around, and I found the beauty in, uh, it's kind of like, you know, you have this bat and this ball, but then you can pinpoint these runways and there's little missions involved in there. And along the way, while we're looking at this video, I will show you some of the missions that I find interesting. This one, uh, this mission is usually called Around Every Corner. And this goes in line, this is actually the city of Crawford in the in the video game uh, the walking dead season one and so uh i don't want to give away any spoilers but uh clementine the little girl has a has a deep interest in reaching crawford for some reason and so uh anyway the the table's laid out so beautifully i mean it's just one table you look at it you've seen it but i don't know this table just in some ways mesmerizes me and I've always liked it. I've actually purchased this table over the years twice. Once when I was on Xbox in the old days and once uh, for the PlayStation 4. So I was really happy that I could still find it and add it to my PlayStation 4. That's why I bought it a second time. Uh, this is one of the cheaper games. This table is only $2.99 and you get to keep it forever so it's really really super cool and once you download it and put it on your hard drive it's yours even though they take away the licensing the only way you could lose it is if you undownload it and try to re-download it and I, I'm not sure how that works but it's kind of cool with pinball you just follow the lights so you see those lights those little white arrows those are the ramps that get you bonus points and get you towards reaching missions and opening up a uh, you know new mission so yeah you just kind of follow the lights and so those are your four major ramps right there so you, um, since every time it touches a flipper you get to shoot it anyway you don't really even have to reach for anything you just have to do ball saves um, there's a couple different st styles one's called flow and one's called trap at least that's what I call them and I believe that is what they are called uh, Every time you hit that zombie up there three times, okay, I did around the corner, around every corner again. And in the game, you want to bring her because you want to bring her to Crawford so she can see what's going on in Crawford. And in the pinball table, you have a choice to bring her or not to bring her. And it's just super cool. Uh, with around every corner, you do not want to get all the way up to a million because that ends the mission and it's a great easy way to get extra points so you want to finish at 900,000 and just stop and that allows the, the mission to stay there and you can choose it again um, that was probably 900 so you'll see me go into this brick wall and I'll just shoot the last couple bullets right there and not hit a zombie and uh, there are a few other missions that you could choose besides around every, around every, cor uh, around every corner uh, there's four other missions, and I'll show you a few of them in the next few minutes before we end this video. It's really easy to get up here. This is actually in the video game, um, a pharmacy. And the cool thing about this is if you hit enough of those targets, you will open up that super jackpot on the right. And if you land that super jackpot, uh, it's really, really worth it in this game. That's that's the whole point of this game, besides the mini missions all over this table, is to reach Super Jackpot. And all you have to do is hit it off the end of that left flipper and it goes up that side ramp. And I think I'm actually gonna do it again once right here. And, uh, cause I remember I did it twice real quick. And it's cool cause when you get stuck right here inside the flipper, you hit nudge and it'll pop right, see it right there? You, you hit the nudge and it pops right back up. So there's little tricks to, it's called ball control. And you want to use a series of nudges and uh, trapping the flipper. There's, there's the super jackpot open right there. Now if I hit the flipper to go back up there again, I would actually have that super jackpot open and reach super jackpot. Uh, but you want that zombie to be knocked down to open the, see that trap door right behind the zombie? Okay, so I'm gonna pick a, a, a mission. I think I picked a new day right here. A few of these missions are really hard. Really hard. All right. Party 
hit the... You're, you're really trying to hit that zombie three times to get him to disappear and drop down into that trap door, which exposes that little open door right behind him. So I'm going to try to hit him and get... Oh, for some reason... Oh, oh, that's because I'm in mission mode. And when you're in mission mode, you want to try to accomplish those missions, which uh, a lot of those missions I'm not really that good at. It takes a, a lot of skill and luck. Um, you'll see one later with this floating rock. And this floating rock literally blocks all of the runways and you have to go around this floating rock and I'll show you in a little bit. So we don't have a mission going on right now except to hit the lit ramps for bonus points and get rid of that zombie. Okay. Oh, there he it dropped into that little tiny trap door which sometimes gives you a mini version of around every corner. There you go. One more time. Hit that zombie. For some reason, I'm not targeting the zombie like I usually do. So weird. Okay, there we go. It went to the mini trap door. So this time you don't get a 10 balls, you get 7. No, no, I think you get 6. So I should get about 3 more here. That's the last one right there. Two million one hundred thousand dollar or point bonus is the most you can get. Uh, right now the zombie has dropped, so I would like to target that little tiny exposed hole in the back of the table. Uh, I did edit the mu uh, the voice after I played, so it's not live. So I'm not sure what I'm going to target it. Oh, I, I think I, you know I think I'm targeting it right now. There we go. Okay. I'm going to pick a different mission. Let's pick No Time Left. And you'll see this cute little animation. There's always an animation before uh, several of these missions lose temper. So that's why he hit him with the baseball bat. Okay, and I believe this is the one with the little mini walking zombies. And then those lit ramps are what you're chasing. You see that lit ramp on the right? Or there's three lit ramps right now. So you always want to chase those lit ramps. And you can look up in the top left corner also to define what your mission is. Okay, so I just read the mission. It says aim for the bell tower. Um, so I don't see me doing that there, but, but I can do it. It's just a little bit more tricky. I'm not having the best game I've had. I usually go right after these missions. Uh, Lee is the guy's voice and Clementine is the girl's voice. Um, this is a way for me to mix kind of like bat and ball and zombies together. <laughs> I don't know. For me, it somehow makes sense. Okay, there the zombie drops. And... Uh, the zombie is just kind of a way for uh, games to have like a survival mechanism of people together. And I just love that survival element. Um, also, you know, I like, uh, you know, The Last of Us, which you guys have been watching me play. Okay, I'm supposed to follow the lights. Okay, there's no time left. That's where you see the little floating ball. So I'm supposed to hit those ramps without hitting that floating ball that's blocking them on the left right there. And it's really, really hard to do this. I believe I've only completed this mission. Oh, I just hit another ramp right there. Now the floating ball will block the other lit ramps. And I, I've only, believe I've completed this mission once or twice, but it felt so good. But you have to target like you've never targeted before to complete this mission. And I couldn't remember the name of it, uh, but it's called No Time Left. Okay, so we're out of mission mode when the lights turn back on. The zombie pops back up, which blocks that little trap door. Okay, the little animation before the mission. Okay, and they're still fighting on the bottom left corner, as you can see. Just another great effect they add to this. If you look around, you see that barn is—they actually get that uh, 
they get stuck at this dairy farm for a while and you can see back there in the back also a motel uh, that is the uh, kind of like the clock tower church steeple that's part of Crawford when they get there and there's the train right there also they, there's a couple of there's a big big long train scene that comes into the play and they just they did such a great job on this table and those are the characters that you can see there that's Lee in the very center of the table uh, without the hat and that's uh, Clementine at the bottom the little girl with the uh, the letter D on her hat right there that she wears. That's them animated at the bottom. Just everything about this game, the music and the and just uh, having a pinball table that I can own for eternity on this system is just so awesome. Uh, I don't know why, but I don't get that tired of playing this game. The one thing, and they did have to do it, that I didn't like is when it hits the zombie. Or right there, right there. Right before it hits that side flipper, they slow it down. Because that side flipper, without the slowdown, would have been so difficult. But I, I find it slightly annoying, but it's just part of the game and what can I do. Otherwise, they did absolute perfect, ga perfect everything on this game. And that is the last ball. Oh, wait, no. Actually, I got really tired. So I actually, like, just totally gave up mentally and so these balls started dropping because of my reaction time just dropped anyway there's your train right there and there's a 3d version of uh, the trap door some of the runways right there thank you guys and I will see you guys next time